Hi there, my name's Leah. I'm one of the junior doctors working on the ward today. Could I just check your full name and date of birth, please? Uh, yeah, Harry Miles, 21st of the 10th, 1998. Thanks very much, Harry. Um, so today I've just been asked to check your urine output, so I just need to have a quick look at your catheter, if that's okay. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Thanks. Okay, that all looks fine. I'm just going to go and document that now. Hey there, it's Lewis from Geeky Medics. So to calculate the rate of urine output, we need to work out the volume of urine that has been produced since the last recording and then divide that by the number of hours that have passed since that last recording. So in this video, the patient has produced 500 mils of urine since it was last recorded 12 hours ago. So we take the 500 and we divide that by 12 and that gives us a urine output of approximately 42 mils per hour. Now oliguria, which refers to the inadequate production of urine, is defined as less than 0.5 mils per kilogram per hour in adults. So in a 70 kilogram adult, their urine production would be considered inadequate if it was below 35 mils per hour. And that might indicate that the patient is dehydrated or potentially has an acute kidney injury or even urinary obstruction. You can learn more about all of these topics on the Geeky Medics website. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 900 ready-made OSCE stations. You can practice with friends using our advanced group practice mode or interact with our amazing AI-powered virtual patients.